Have you ever mixed a baking soda and a vinegar? Before we do that, hold the flask with vinegar and describe its temperature. Is it hot, cold, lukewarm? Do you think this original temperature will stay the same when baking soda will be added? Alright, let's do it. What do you think is the gas produced from the reaction of baking soda and vinegar mixed together? Okay, as you observe, there is a change in temperature, but what exactly the temperature reading? This is where our friendly Goten probe comes in. In as much as we are looking for the exact measurement of temperature, we need an accurate instrument to help us out. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Goten probe wave. Make it sure that the Goten is connected to the computer. Start the GoTem software by clicking Lager Light. Open the file for this activity. Click on the Open button. Now place the GoTem on the flask with vinegar for 20 seconds to obtain the initial temperature. Look at the computer screen and click collect to start data collection. Watch how temperature of the probe changes. After 20 seconds, Add 10 grams of baking soda. And you can mix it using the good temperature. Wait until 300 seconds is reached and you could click stop to end data collection. When I put the temperature probe on the vinegar, the initial temperature was 26.8. And after 20 seconds, I added baking soda. The temperature went up a little bit to 27, and eventually it went down. And after 300 seconds, the final temperature was 25.3. So now I think you're ready to do this activity. The cool reaction or the reaction of baking soda and vinegar. Read the instructions carefully and if there are steps that are not clear, feel free to ask. Now, I'm going to guide you in answering questions in analysis of data. Did your reaction make the solution warmer or colder? The reaction made the solution colder. What evidence supports your claim? The data provided by GoTemp showed that the initial temperature was 26.8 and it went down to 25.3 after 300 seconds. How do you interpret the data you collected? In the reaction of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate, in vinegar or acetic acid solution, it produces a fizz effect 
or students see that the gas is produced in this actual reaction. The product is carbon dioxide. During the reaction, students see evaporation of the liquid occurs as the carbon dioxide escapes from solution. Evaporation absorbs heat, cooling the liquid. Do you believe your data is accurate? Yes. In as much as we are looking for the exact measurement of temperature, the GoTemp probe provided accurate data. What conclusion can you draw? The cooling effect of reaction between baking soda and vinegar could be explained as rapidly expanding carbon dioxide cools as it expands. The effect can be visualized as the result of intermolecular forces breaking and slowing the molecules as they try to move away from each other during expansion. Lower molecular speeds mean lower temperature.